Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Kindred Fates video. Uh, this is going to be another casual video. It's just uh, going over the community newsletter. So I figured every week that it comes out, we'll cover it, of course, because that's uh, that's the plan. So this is this is a bi-weekly new, uh, newsletter. So this is the one for April 24th. So uh, this is the phantom form, the official phantom form for uh, Nyazen. We saw... Um, some images in the Twitch uh, stream that they did, but they at, at the time they said it wasn't official. Well, this is official. So anyway, I'm just going to read it off to you guys because I know how it is. Sometimes people don't want to read. I get it. Uh, so I will be your audible guide. Okay. <laughs> Our artists have continued creating new kinfolk concept art models and animations. Backers can see the details of these developments on our progress boards. Several unrevealed kinfolk have also been given special code names and are currently being tracked on the board. We hope you'll have fun guessing what their names could mean. The design team has been focusing on core game mechanics, including capture mechanic, bond activities, and companion kinfolk personalities. In addition to these game mechanics, the design team is also creating a small-scale version of Hinterlock, complete with towns, villages, and other points of interest to help with sculpting the full map. Progress in the game's code has been uh, slower than usual the last two weeks, in part due to a family emergency with one of our developers. The dev team is also uh, in the process of carefully planning out the complex network architecture required for features like PvP, training, co co sorry, trading, co-op, and raids. It's a slow but vitally important phase of development, luckily for us. We added a new senior devel- oh sorry, luckily for us. <laughs> We added a new senior developer to the team who we're very excited to work with. We have no doubt that their talent, experience, and passion will be extremely helpful as we continue to build the foundations of our base code. Uh, so with regards to that, like I have very little experience coding, but I do have some uh, other than ROM hacking. Um, I did create a platformer game that kind of played like a uh, like kind of Metroidvania styled game. It was very, very basic, but... I know like you have to code every little freaking thing like like it's not like the game just comes together for you like you have to code like things like gravity uh collisions and it, it it's a lot of work like a, a lot of people take for granted what goes into making a video game so i totally get this <clears throat> community we've received some amazing entries in our music contest many entries embody exactly what we hoped for and several members of the team will have or sorry have caught themselves humming submissions stuck in their head there's still time to enter your song. The contest will end this Friday, May 1st at 11 p.m. Uh, EST. Our Q&A stream last week with Mayu and Kayla was a blast. Kayla gave a lot of great insight onto the uh, 3D modeling process, and Mayu revealed some new drawings of Nyazen. The official phantom coloring is shown at the top of this newsletter. We're planning to have more official streams in the future. Past streams are now available to watch on our t Twitch channel for 14 days after going live, and we're looking into adding all previous streams in our YouTube. Yes. Please do that. Please. Sometimes I'm working when these streams happen, and it makes me sad. <laughs> and I didn't even know you could rewatch stuff on Twitch. I don't really use it. So, <laughs> one of our community moderators, Crank. Crank's. Uh, let me tell you one thing about Crank, okay? Crank. Crank's a savage. Hosted a stream for Kindred Fates fans to discuss the game while playing Jackbox games together. Jackbox games together last week. Crank's next community stream will be on Sunday, May 3rd at 2.30 EST and will feature a fun art challenge. Participations will be get, sorry, participants will be given Kindred Fates uh, related prompt to draw within one hour. During that hour, a variety of kin fakes posted to our art contribution discord will be featured and discussed. We hope you see the, we hope to see you there. Yeah, no, Crank's awesome. Uh, if you're watching this, Crank, hi. Hello. <laughs> Backer awards. Okay, this is where I'm sad now. I regret not backing for the plushie i really want it now digital wallpapers and progress board have been distributed to all the backers if you back the game and didn't receive an email let us know we're very happy to announce that these are the first prototypes of the auburn plushie and it, again it makes me sad i really want one now <laughs> i did on a side note upgrade my pledge so now i'm a champion tier so i will be getting access to the battle alpha uh for those of you guys who were wondering i decided uh I should have just done it from the beginning, but better late than never. I decided, yeah, I definitely want to be uh, getting the alpha at the end of this year uh, rather than waiting for the beta. So there's that. 
Uh, while this particular plushie is no, avail uh, no longer available, they, are, they did confirm that they will have other plushies available in the future. So that's pretty much it uh, for the newsletter here. Uh, not a whole lot to go on, uh, like not not a whole lot of like crazy things going on right now. But you know, it's it's always good to stay updated. Uh, the Phantom Nyazin form is really interesting, and right here, uh, what, like like uh, this was this was obvious already. But those code names are code names on purpose, like they're new kinfolk that we haven't seen before. Uh, with the exception of probably the shepherd who we have seen but i i think that gentle underscore gaze is also the deer but i want i'm going to do mini videos for each uh where we can kind of i can kind of discuss kind of what i did with my salamurder video for yesterday but yeah so this week is just uh the mini video that i had and then the this and then next week we we'll have a more uh, essay formatted video for saturday but uh yeah let me know what you guys think about um the Freaking plushie is so nice. Let me know what you guys think about those uh, those new uh, kinfolk that are codenamed uh, the Phantom Nyazin and the plushies and just everything in general. Just you know, comment down below and let's let's get a conversation going. Anyways, guys, until next time, peace. Um.